Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made my backflow incense burner. We're going to start by kneading together my epoxy putty. Today I'm using milliput. I've chosen to use this over clay purely because um, when you're using your incense burner, um, the milliput can take the heat a little bit better than clay can. I let the milliput sit for 15-20 minutes just to get rid of the stickiness. Once I've done that, I created a small bowl for the incense to sit in, um, then bored a hole straight through it using my pin tool. I did a quick test run just to see if uh, it was all working and then let it set overnight. creating my armature out of foil and cardboard tubing but you could just create it from foil if you wanted to I was just recycling an empty tube <laughs> made a chunky disc of clay about the same diameter as our milliput um, centerpiece and then I carved a groove down the middle creating sort of a valley for the smoke to roll down um, when the incense is lit. I attached the disc to the milliput making sure that the hole in the milliput lined up with the valley that I'd created in the chunky piece of clay um, so that it's had a clear run through all the way down. doing another little test run. I wanted to give the rock some texture so I used a rock to make rock imprints and then I followed that up with a nail brush just to give it a rougher texture. Any ideas? spent far longer than I wanted to attaching these crystals to the centre of the flower. I'm 
now I'm going to start making the cutest moth I have ever made in my life. I started by making a basic body shape and then cutting out each individual wing. I attached these cute little crystals just so that he could be the most glam moth ever. Um, they are made of plastic, uh, but it was a little bit frightening putting it in the oven, but they did survive, but I would suggest that you use glass, not plastic. I'm doing one final test just to make sure everything is still working and then I popped it in the oven. Now it's time to paint. I'm using Arteza, Arteza, Arteza? I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, acrylics, but you can use whatever acrylic paint you'd like. Here I'm dry brushing, which is where I've got like really little amount of paint on my paintbrush and it, it just sort of catches the top surface of my sculpture and it really brings it to life. It's a technique that I would suggest to anybody using.
when I was painting my moth, I decided to take like the fantasy route and made it up as I was going along. But if you wanted to, you could uh, bring up some reference pictures and create a more realistic moth. I'm using UV resin just to try and mimic the water droplets on the leaves and to create a pool at the bottom. I was so pleased that I managed to catch the resin droplet just as it was coming off the leaf with the UV light. It looks so cool. Pixie top tip of the day, UV resin makes a pretty good glue too. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you like my incense burner. If you want to make your own, I will leave a link in the description to all the tools and materials that I use. Um, and if you're new to the channel, then make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button to see future videos. Thanks again, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!